हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पावर प्लांट गुरु चैनल फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द ऑपरेशनल फैक्टर्स फॉर गैस टर्बाइन आईजीवी व्हाट आर द थिंग्स इट टेक केयर ड्यूरिंग ऑपरेशन सो फ्रेंड्स आई हैव 20 इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन पावर प्लांट ऑपरेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस and i keep on creating fundamental knowledge series videos on gas turbine and other power plant equipment we have already created multiple videos for gas turbine and power plant for uh, which you can find the link in the description section and you can watch relative content there so friends uh, gas turbine igv plays a very important role so uh, we need to understand igv from two angle one how it operates so that part i have already explained how the actuator is there how the rack and pinion arrangement is there so that i have explained and you can find that link in the description if you have missed that video you can watch it from there so in this section we will discuss the majority operational concept so for any gas turbine operator or user igv uh, control logic is divided into two parts one is igv temperature control mode on and the other one is temperature control mode off so igv is fully open and it is not going to control the temperature if you change the load i mean if you increase the load if machine is not at full load so if you increase the load temperature will increase if you decrease the load temperature will decrease why that is so because igv is already full open full air quantity is going if you are increasing the load that means you are increasing the fuel so that is going to increase the temperature and if you are reducing the load that means fuel is going to be little lesser and that will reduce the temperature of exhaust gases and if you are having a hrsg which is generating steam by using gas turbine exhaust gases then you must operate gas turbine in igv temperature control mode on why this is because here the igv follows uh, follows load set point and accordingly it uh, it varies its position to make the temperature exhaust temperature at a higher i mean at a maximum possible extent so this is very uh, i mean uh, igv follows a very complex logic here it is difficult to explain in in uh, overview section so i am uh, uh, i am using the crude words like temperature exhaust temperature maximize actually it uh, sees the isothermal firing temperature it has to maintain accordingly it will see the maximum temperature firing temperature is constant accordingly it will highest temperature in exhaust gases you will get so let's say if you increase the load that means fuel is increased so for that increase in fuel the temperature will go higher but already if you are at a highest temperature limit so what you have to do you have to increase the air so what igv will do it will increase its opening to maintain the temperature similarly in case of reducing the load you are reducing the load that means you are reducing the fuel so temperature is going to fall so igv will follow that uh, temperature and try to reduce that opening of igv vanes to maintain that original temperature so in this case the maximum exhaust temperature is maintained at around uh, for a frame 9 gas turbine it is around 580 degree 590 degree and for a frame 6 turbine it is 560 to 570 degree and higher temperature means higher steam generation in hrsg and higher steam generation means 
higher power generation in STG if you are running a combined second power plant. So this IGB temperature control mode on is going to increase the overall power cycle efficiency output of the total unit. So if you are not running your machine in temperature control mode on, you must do it. And before changing it to you should check the history of uh, your IGV operation as well as the past maintenance record and everything so that it does not invite a new problem or in it does not invite a problem which you do not know. So going further uh, deep down in the IGV operation. So we were discussing that uh, high temperature and lower temperature that IGV follows. So how uh, the boundary is decided up to what low temperature it can go. Low temperature means higher air flow. So if you increase the air flow, the what will happen this air to fuel ratio will be lower. I mean per per quantity of fuel the air which is going is high. So what will happen your flame strength gas turbine where the combustion is happening that flame strength will be low and it will come to the lower boundary of stabilization. So that is the lowest limit of uh, lowest limit of temperature that means highest air flow and that will lead to low combined cycle efficiency. And how the highest temperature is decided? So if you increase uh, the temperature, that means what you are doing, you are reducing the airflow. But up to where we can reduce? So the boundary will be decided. You reduce the airflow, the temperature, uh, combustion temperature, the flame temperature is going to be higher. So that temperature is uh, the limit. I mean the metallurgy here is getting the upper limit whatever maximum firing temperature is exposed to the metals that is the fixed one. So you cannot go and beyond that and reduce the air to get high temperature. The another point is that uh, from uh, from uh, environment point of view also NOx generation is higher at higher flame temperature. The, that is also one of the limiting factor. If you reduce the air, the flame temperatures will be higher. Higher flame temperatures will lead to higher NOx generation. So these two, metallurgy and NOx, these two are the things which are going to restrict the higher temperature. Otherwise, people would have increased the temperature to get more and more efficiency and power output in HRSG and the connected steam turbine. So this is how uh, overall on a broad level you can understand how IGV operates. There are very, uh, very other uh, minute factor also. What are the temperature const control constant? Uh, what is isothermal temperature limit? So this thing I we can discuss in some other video. Another thing which I was missing that uh, that IGV also modular during startup and shutdown. During startup, if you put a uh, lot amount of air, then it will not. Uh, allow your flames to stabilize. It will put off the flame. So that is why IGV uh, is So that is why Similarly IGV, during uh, shutdown yes. also air has to be reduced in a control way. Like if you are reducing the load air has to be reduced in a, such a way that flame does not destabilize. Similarly, during shutdown also, air has to be reduced in a controlled way. Like if you are reducing the load, air has to be reduced in a, such a way that flame does not destabilize. And if you like the video, please subscribe to it and share with your friends who want to gain knowledge in power plant field. Thank you very much.